The Road Not Taken, Part 2. Chirp and Quack are meeting once again to exercise. And once again, the exercise isn't happening. I can't believe Peep is late. Quack, wake up! I'm talking to you! Hey, what? Is Peep here? No, can you believe it? If it's true, I believe it because it doesn't make sense to not believe something that's true. I'm here! Whoa! Quack! Whoa! Ow! Are you sure that's not exercise? It sure looks like it. Peep, you're late again. I can't believe it. I believe it, because it's true. All you had to do was follow the helpful yarn path. But that's why I'm late. The path is gone. Look! Where'd it go? They'll never find out where it went, but I can tell you. Earlier, while Peep was asleep in his can, a certain beaver boy was searching for sticks to stick in the family dam. Sticks, twigs, sticks, twigs, twigs, sticks. Ooh. I found a bendy stick that will make a good dam stuffing. Later on, when Peep woke up, he set out for Chirp's bush. All I have to do is follow the yarn and I won't be late. Where'd it go? Ooh, a bee! Since Peep couldn't follow the yarn path, he followed the bee instead. And that's why he was late. Hmm. Maybe it blew away. Yarn is very light and blowy. Even though I love yarn, I must admit it's just not reliable. So what would make a better path? Hmm. Something that feels good under duck feet, because happy feet makes happy ducks. Hmm. <laughs> right. And something that looks good because it leads to my home. The best place to find stuff was Chirp's collection collection, which is her collection of collections. Everything they chose looked good and felt good on duck feet. This is going to be the best path anyone ever saw. It might have been the best path, but it sure didn't look like the best path. It looks like an accident. Wait, I've got the solution. What? Let's just roll Peep's can over to Chirp's bush. Then you'll live right next to each other and you won't need a path. <laughs> hmm. Ready to push as soon as you get here. Perhaps you didn't understand my brilliant idea. Maybe what we should do is organize the path. Uh-huh. Let's roll the can. If we make our path in a pattern, then maybe it won't look like an accident. Peep and Chirp tried different patterns until they found their favorite. I say no to this one because you can get lost without even going anywhere. my favorite. I like it, too. Me, too. So 
So we all agree our pattern is yellow, blue, purple, red, and a bottle cap. Yeah! Yellow, yellow blue, blue, purple, purple red, red, and a bottle cap. Yellow, blue, purple, red, and a bottle cap. Did eat it out of Yellow, blue. They even tested a way to get Peep down the path extra fast. You made it the whole way. You can get here super fast now. Hmm. I think I'll just walk on the path. It's slower. But I won't feel like, like, oh. The path was a big success. From that day on, Peep was never late. Sorry, I can't play. I have to stay on the path. Bye. No more wandering off, no more following bees. Peep went straight to Chirp's place every day. <sighs> same path, same way, each and every single day. Noticed a change in Peep? Yeah, he's always on time. I heard a weird frog sound. I didn't see it. It was far away. I didn't want to leave the path. That's the change I mean. Peep, you're losing your peepitude. Why didn't you investigate? We built the path so I'd be on time, and now every day is the same. Hmm. Peep's life has become a repeating pattern. I did not see this coming. The path is supposed to make things better, not worse. If you need to go run off and discover, then do it, Peep. Okay. What is that over there? I'll go see and let you know. We're going to spend a lot of time just waiting around for Peep, I guess. Guys, you want to come too? Yeah! Yes! What is that? Looks like a, a frog and a bunny on a trampoline. Oh, I wish I could go see it. I mean, when does a narrator get to run around? All I ever do is narrate. Have fun, guys. <laughs>